everyone and welcome back to my channel jrc restoration decor and designs and my name is phyllis so we're almost at the finish line we are in week four of our christmas in july collaboration 2021 with the exclusive decor club and our host and co-hosts are as follows the host is Alley of Glam Elegant Living and the co-host is Sandy, Sister Cousins Lifestyle, Melissa, Buckeye Girls Reef and Things, Felicia, The Rogers House, Simone, Creations by Simone, Jerry, A Happy Hoarder, Anna, The Grace Life DIY Home Decor, and yours truly, Phyllis, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs. Now, should you choose to participate in this collaboration, we ask that you please remember to use YouTube etiquette and mention our names and channels in your videos, as well as including our channel links along with the playlist of all the participants in your description box. And for a completed guidelines, YouTube etiquette, and descriptions of what you're needing, you can go to Allie's Glam Elegant Living Community tab. Now this is a picture of a box that this Christmas tree came in and the reason why I'm showing you this, my daughter gave me this tree that she was going to discard and I took it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the look by using these two colors of spray paint and the effect that I'm giving it is called the ombre effect. Now I thought it was something that I made up until I found on Pinterest it was already in existence. Now this one is beautiful and it has looked like about four colors. This one looks like it has about three because the middle is a little lighter than the top. Mine is close to this. I use those two colors and here are the side by sides. Pinterest is on the right and mine is on the left, all completed. Mine comes in three parts. I spray painted the top and the middle black and the bottom gold. Now here it is where the top is already done and I had to take the middle part and go spray paint it. Now this is a pre-lit Christmas tree, so of course I will not be able to light it using the bulbs that are on there already because I sprayed over it, but that's fine because I can get some other bulbs and add to this tree. I don't plan on doing that. I'm going to just decorate this tree with different decor uh, pieces without having the light. Now I'm going to be showing you how I'm taking it outside. Now it was very easy to do. However, it is time consuming because you have to separate each branch as always with any artificial tree. It does fall down, but you still have to separate them. And then in spraying it, I did my best in trying to get each branch, which was not easy to do, um, especially doing the bottom part of the tree because I have it set up on the table on the legs and then I had to get a stool to stand up to reach down in the tree. So if you decide to do this, if I know this is not everybody's thing. I didn't even know if it was mine, but when it came together, I liked it. You, I would recommend spraying from the inside first and then spraying the branches on the outside. But here it is all completed, the bottom part. Now again, you can see I didn't get all of the branches, but I got enough to cover and what's going to be shown and then I'm going to be decorating it. So you won't be seeing the decorations in this video. You'll be seeing it in the final video. And now coming up is the completed ombre Christmas tree, the two tiered or two colored, three tiered ombre Christmas tree. And I really liked what it looked like. I wasn't sure that I was going to, you know, like it too much, but I do like the way it came together. Now in the black section in the middle part, it is kind of sporadic where there's a lot of spacing. I couldn't pull out any more branches, so I'm just going to be filling in those open spaces with Christmas balls. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick video of how I changed the look of a traditional pre-lit Christmas tree into my ombre Christmas tree. And the reason why I chose these colors, because of the color of my carriage sleigh and the color of my horse. All of these are together around the tree and I wanted everything to be cohesive. So again, I hope you all enjoyed this video and wanted to thank you all for stopping by and don't forget to come back next week to see all of this put together. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor and Designs. And remember, 
The distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.